Fun fact, we are now two and a half years into the Matt Canada era in Pittsburgh, and they still have not had a single game of 400 plus yards of offense. The Pittsburgh Steelers are awful offensively, just awful. But the scheme is, it's tough. I mean, like, they're not dynamic, right? You know, not dynamic at quarterback, although I've liked Kenny Pickett, and he's kind of regressed. But what they what they have to be is they have to be sound. And the, the passing concepts for that team are unsound. When you watch the Pittsburgh office, there is no rhythm. There is no flow. There is no identity. The Pittsburgh Steelers literally don't make any sense. They somehow keep winning games, even though they're really not that good of a team. Every week, it just gets more and more confusing. Like I said, this isn't really that great of a team. They've been outgained in every single game this season. But somehow, someway, they're 6-3. and three. The offense is bad and can't get anything going, but somehow they're still winning despite that. And honestly, that may be the only reason that Matt Canada still has a job as an offensive coordinator. They really aren't doing anything special. Kenny Pickett looks mid at best, but it just doesn't seem to matter. Mike Tomlin is still a wizard and somehow going to will them to another season without going below 500. I really don't know how this man keeps doing this. Now, luckily, this week it was against a pretty disappointing Packers team that they barely beat 23 to 19, but a win's a win. Green Bay had 399 yards of offense to the Steelers 324. Again, like I said, they got outgained in this one too. Pickett didn't do much as usual. He had a 126 yards going 12 of 23 with no touchdowns he didn't really do much like i said honestly jordan love did more for the win for the steelers than kenny pickett did he at least had two picks that helped pittsburgh get the win but at some point after watching how they've played week in and week out you gotta imagine that this is all eventually going to fall apart for the steelers but somehow it hasn't yet it really does give off very similar vibes to how the vikings were winning last season the record said that they were a very very good team but then you watched them and you know they just weren't they were barely winning games and over and over again it was just falling their way but it was kind of the opposite in the sense you know for the Vikings the offense was good but the defense was miserable and for the Steelers it's really the other way around the offense sucks but the defense is incredible I really don't know how the Vikings did it they were 31st in total yards allowed on the season and had a negative point differential on the season yet somehow they managed to go 11 and 0 in one score games and just somehow kept winning. As we know now though, then it all fell apart and they lost to the Giants in the postseason. But the Steelers have a lot of the same vibes and at some point, much like the Vikings, it'll probably blow up. I mean, it's not like the Packers are particularly that good of a team and the Steelers barely won. I mean, they really only won because there was this play where Kenny Pickett definitely had like a backwards pass type of thing and the guy didn't catch it. So I guess, you know, that would technically be like a fumble, but the refs called it an incomplete pass and it kind of bailed out Pittsburgh to allow them to win this game. The Steelers really didn't help themselves too much to win this game, you know? They squeezed out a win, much like they've done every time they've won this season. Then the week before, they barely won against the Titans, 20-16, even though Tennessee outgained them 340-326. to They've just squeaked by teams that really aren't that great. The Steelers have barely beaten a mid-Rams team, and then they beat a bad Raiders team, yet somehow also beat the Browns and Ravens. Somehow, I have zero clue how. Those AFC North matchups are an absolute slugfest and are truly some of the best games of the regular season so far. All the games have been pretty damn similar. They've been tough and always seem to come down to the wire every week. I love it. Even this week, you know, the Browns and the Bengals played and the Browns somehow ended up winning 33 to 31 over the Ravens and it was just so much fun to watch. But I will say this, it's not like it's all bad for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Wins over the Ravens and Browns are really good things to build off of. Those are impressive wins, and they do show that the Steelers can have success. But still, this feels like a team that is 100% dependent on their defense playing lights out in order for them to actually win games. In the Steelers' losses, they have been clearly outmatched. I mean, they kind of kept it close in a 20-10 loss to the Jaguars, but outside of that, they've been absolutely blown out by a combined score of 
60 to 13 to the 49ers and the Houston Texans. There's no doubt that the Steelers can't truly compete with the top dogs in this league. Their record might say that they're a solid team, but this isn't a Super Bowl contender. But I guess we do have to really ask at this point, like, are they actually, you know, kind of good? I don't know. I don't really think so. I mean, that's really the same question with Kenny Pickett too. I mean, he's definitely not terrible, but I'm also not really convinced that he's good. Like, he's extremely mid. He only has a single game this season with more than a single touchdown pass. That's it. He's not really doing anything special to put points on the board, to elevate his team, and he does feel like another quarterback that needs everything to be perfect around him in order for him to succeed, and everything's not perfect in Pittsburgh. There's a lot of holes on this roster, and he's not able to elevate his team. To me, much like, you know, Mac Jones at this point, that doesn't exactly scream franchise quarterback. He even has four games without a touchdown pass. He has just six touchdowns in nine games, but also has just four interceptions. So I guess at the very least, that is a bright spot. Now on the other side of that, he's not exactly improving a lot from last season though. He wasn't great as a rookie. He had seven touchdowns in nine interceptions. And you know, there are still plenty of questions around Kenny Pickett, but honestly, he hasn't really been that good. He still has to show a lot and it feels like the Steelers really haven't put him in that great of a spot to succeed. Of course, the person everyone's been pointing their fingers at lately is Matt Canada, and he's just been a mess, but just the whole offense is really disappointing. Najee Harris is just straight up hard to watch this season, and Deontay Johnson and George Pickens are fine, but that's really it. I really thought that Pickens was going to have that kind of like almost breakout season this year, but instead he's been extremely quiet, mostly because you know of the struggles of Kenny Pickett, but still, I really thought that that connection was just going to build and be even better than last year, and he was really going to take that next step, but he just hasn't. Add in that the offensive line is really bad, and Pittsburgh is a complete mess, but it doesn't seem to matter. They somehow are still winning football games, and you know, that's really the goal of this game. Game. The goal every single week is to win, and that's what the Steelers are doing so far. Now, does it make sense? absolutely not. It doesn't make any sense and eventually the luck is going to run out, but I really don't know when that is. The Steelers are certainly in a position to make the postseason and you never know what can happen once you get there, but if you think this team can seriously compete with the Chiefs, Bills, or Bengals, you're fucking crazy. Thank you guys for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you guys like this one, make sure to smash that like button. And if you don't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below and turn on bell notifications so you never miss an upload by us. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think they're really confusing right now. Record wise, they're technically a good team, but I just, I don't see it, man. Let me know what you guys see down in the comments below and we will, got, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.